Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today will be another climbing video and we're visiting the neighborhood of Talus in Issaquah. The segment we're tackling today is basically riding up as far as we can on the pavement and runs for about uh, 1.12 miles with a gradient of 11.9% leading to a total elevation gain of 700 feet. So this definitely isn't an easy climb and for today we have something special where I'm actually wearing my heart rate monitor this isn't something I commonly do, but I've been trying to make more of a habit of it just to uh, get some more data and some, uh, just to basically itch my curiosity. So we'll see as you follow along with my effort. And after just starting off, the climb definitely starts to kick in with the gradients coming up to around the tens level. But I'll sort of give a pre-warning that I think really the heavy, really steep stuff comes closer towards the end as we approach in the development. And that's speaking on which I was really impressed with is this neighborhood is that I've never been here before. So this is my first time visiting. It's like this little 600 acre community just nestled next to Cougar Mountain. And basically everything is new. As we were just rolling in there, there was this new middle school, Cougar Mountain Middle School. And it looks brand new, uh, nice signage, everything, all these developments and homes look really new and some of them aren't even built yet as we go on and build it, uh, come across so yeah it's pretty interesting to discover this place it's like and you can see all this traffic going up and down like this is just a really cool neat residential area that's sort of on this hilltop and a sort of showcase right in the intro that they do have some amazing views and today yeah, you can already sort of tell it's very very overcast so the gopro isn't super good in this type of lighting but regardless, we're making do, and we're officially greeted with the welcome to Talus sign here on the right, as we're definitely getting into midways of this climb, and my heart rate has now settled into that 170, where it probably will hold for the rest of this ride, where that's at that point where I'm working pretty hard, but this is something I can hold for a good amount of time. Once I get into that 180 is when I usually tend to start blowing up, so let me know what's your experience with that. Um, I'm not a super experienced in reading my heart rate data. I usually just go by feel, so it's interesting to have these numbers in front of me. But we can see the gradient definitely just getting into these those mid-teens now as we're really working hard. But for this entire climb, it doesn't go beyond, I think, 15% later at the end. So this is sort of as worse as it gets. But one thing I did appreciate about it is that the roads were pretty nice. Like, basically the whole way through, you're going to have a bike lane that's actually decently wide and then there's a lot the lanes themselves are uh gives ample room so there really wasn't any issue going downhill there's also bike lanes but really most on you'll probably just be taking the whole lane because you'll be able to descend at the speed limit with these gradient levels so definitely take your time there but it was all quite easy and fun so uh but other thing about reaching this area was interesting was that you have to basically go on to the uh, Renton Insequa Road, which is almost sort of like a highway, but it ha happens to have like bike lanes um, all the way up to the Talus neighborhood, and then they just sort of get cut off completely. I don't know if that's intentional and just like built for this area, but I mean, that does at least give you a good venue to reach this area from Newport Way. So definitely, it's not that inaccessible a climb or place to visit but it definitely is going to be sort of an out and back sort of experience there is also other roads that you can use to climb up this neighborhood i think it's called the joe bush road uh it's a little bit more of a sort of off beaten path there's also a gate in the middle of it but i think it is paved it's used in the suffering summits route but i opted for just sort of a more clean straightforward experience for my first time so as we approach the end here uh, this is um, where we're getting up to some of the upper level plateaus there's a few options of uh, where to climb to next and where to ride but I'll show you what I went with it, it was sort of part of the most popular Strava segment that I could find so that's why we picked it and it's basically just heading up what we see now those hills just keep climbing up uh, where this continues to be new developments being built and yeah, I'm actually, the more I see these bike lanes, I thought to myself when I was riding is like, who actually uses these bike lanes? Like, I'm not sure 
when <laughs> I looked at the Strava segments that that many people actually use this. This is not an easy climb, and it's definitely not something I can imagine people just riding every day. But maybe if you're in this area already, it could be something you do uh, for leisure to reach from one side of the community to another. So, I mean, I'm all for it, and I definitely think at least at the very least, um, it probably makes driving um, slightly more safer for pedestrians and whatnot. But we're going on here, and we're hitting some 15% gradients now, some good level gradients, and it's just going to get a little bit worse as we come up here. There's going to be just into like this another residential area. They just have these transitions with these different climbs. So definitely it was not the easiest. And actually right before I came here to do this effort, I was over at Squawk Mountain, which I've done another video on before definitely just really close by actually and that's in a thousand feet climb as well not as steep as this one cons consistently i would say um but definitely a little bit longer so i'm definitely quite tired from that so for, at some point here i as i'm going along it does ease up before we head up the uh, hill but when i saw the hill i was just thinking to myself how can i survive and the way to survive is here on the right. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it captured very well, but you start getting those views um, looking east towards, I guess, the Snoqualmie Pass and everything. And it's really great views, really great sights. I think you can probably maybe even see like parts of um, Poo Poo Point from here, I'd be guessing, like people paragliding and everything. But <laughs> let me know if you know more. Uh, some, and yeah, we see some developments here some that aren't even built yet and but we're still trucking along my heart rate's climbing up now to those unstable thresholds about 177 has this 15 percent gradients just holding uh i think i'm gonna make it through though as i just keep powering through at my little slow pace but nonetheless uh it's 16 uh, percent now okay it's deeper than i thought and uh it's holding for good good while but finally it sort of uh, decreases and gets a little bit more gentle and I can sort of round the bend and make it make it all the way up but yeah let me know um, if this is a climb that you sort of want to take on and try out for yourself I think it's definitely worth it even just for the view um, I think we could uh, with all the different sort of options around here uh, this just makes for a good interlude between them. So if you're doing like, let's say the Squawk cli Mountain Climb or the Grand Ridge uh, sort of in the more cemented in the Issaquah area, this could be your transition over to the west or uh, it could be something that you do. So I rode up from May Valley uh, doing sort of a, my typical counterclockwise loop. And yeah, it's just love wanted to visit this for the very first time we're here at these homes now they all look super duper new and modern so pretty impressed and uh, there's a ton of signage uh talking about for sale so i'm pretty sure not all maybe some of these aren't even um been lived in yet but uh, we're gonna make a left here and the original segment goes up even further all the way to those two sort of water towers up there but it's been gated off and i didn't want to uh, bypass the gate so uh, I'm basically so my ride sort of ends here at these so, sort of super nice looking homes so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on this climb and you can all enjoy the descent together with me and I'll see you all in the next one